Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Hi, guys. Guess what day it is? It's Traeger Day. Yes, it is. Today's a real simple one. We're doing a pork tenderloin, and uh, I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, I'm just going to use a little olive oil, uh, paprika, salt and pepper, and a little bit of my uh, favorite rub from Traeger and we're gonna run this pretty hot for this so it's not a very big tenderloin it's uh and I need to take the temperature up to 140 145 internally and the Traeger I'm gonna run at about 375 so never notice cars go by whenever you do a presentation oh well it's real <laughs> anyway so let's get started Today we're using Traeger pork and poultry rub and olive oil, black pepper, smoked paprika, and minced garlic. I'm actually going to mix all this in a bowl and then get a brush later to put it onto the pork. And a little Traeger rub. Good stuff, by the way. And some yummy black pepper, grinding it, of course. Some smoked paprika, yummy stuff. Gotta have some minced garlic. I mean, really, come on guys. So it's time to turn this into a little bit of a paste. I did add a little bit of salt to this. Um, I did a little taste test and it's like, yep, I need a little salt. So I did that a little later and it came out yummy. I did add a little bit more olive oil just to uh, thin it out a smidgen, but that's all. Grab my brush, go get the pork loin. So I opened up the package, grabbed my mix, and started getting ready to spread this all over. So it's time to go out to the Traeger, open her up, clean off my grill a little bit, and then also um, oil up the grill too. So uh, when you scrape these things, I always worry about breaking a little oh, piece of steel off of that brush. So I'll scrape this as good as I can, but then I'll turn it upside down and go over the uh, all the grills really well to make sure I didn't um, break off a little piece of the uh, metal off of the uh, brush. It just scares me that it could get into our food. So be careful when you're cleaning your grill. Time to spray a little oil on the grill to keep things from sticking and we'll be ready to go. First I turn it on to uh, startup mode and get it burning and then we'll take up the heat after that. Also a good time to check if I got enough pellets. I am cooking with alder again, that's my favorite, and now it's time to get this puppy out there. I will be using a wireless thermometer, so make sure you get this right in the middle of the meat, not off to the side, so you get a good reading. And I'm loading it up, now I'm going to keep it towards the edge of the trigger uh, so it gets seared a little bit, and then later when I uh, check on it, move it to the middle. So now I'm cranking this puppy up to 375 and uh, let her go. So I'm closing this up, checking on my wireless thermometers and I'm going to monitor it to 140 to 150 degrees. So it's been about a half hour now and now I'm going to move it to the middle of the grill. Internal temperature is 150, time to pull this thing. So I'm pulling the thermometer out and getting ready to take it out. You cannot believe how good this looks. So I'm going to let it rest for about 15 minutes and then we're going to cut this thing up. So it was cooked exactly the way me and Sherry liked it. 
and I gotta tell you that Traeger rub was fantastic. So I laid it on a serving plate and I actually got some lemon too. And I took a little taste here, here it is. Oh my God, it was so awesome. So yep, the recipe's good, you'll love it. So thank you for joining me in Traeger Day, an outdoor travel channel. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. I mean all over the world, please. <laughs> take her easy, bye.